Today we're in the combat game to explore how to make a custom enemy. So the first thing we're going to want to do is zoom in here to one of the characters that we might want to work with. And you'll notice that I'm in, in stop mode, it's gray. And in play mode, it's colorful and has all the pieces and moves around. That's sort of indicating to you that it's going to spawn in different art when the game starts. That's why this character is gray. So if I make a copy of it and I go to the what should be the second script in the list. It's called DBB Custom NPC Appearance and open it up. You'll see there that that's where all the pieces of the character have actually been specified. So if I click on one of these pieces, then I can change it to whatever other thing I want. So if I change it to this shark head and then I hit play, you can see that we now have a character with a shark head. So it's very easy to change these, but you would notice that it, it looks kind of funny because the uh, head's very small. <laughs> So when you're making one of these characters, it's best that you use the same pieces that you see on the character, like you remix the original art to get started on your art, just so your art's the correct size. Otherwise, you might have to do a lot of fiddling around to get it to, to fit on the character correctly. So we're going to stop the game again, and I'm going to go to my browser here. Now, what I've decided to do is to go and remix copies of all the pieces that I thought would make for kind of a cool character. So I actually decided I'm going to build a Cyclops because this Cyclops head is floating around. And then I copied the neck of the regular monster character and the upper arm, the lower arm, the hands. This is a, a chest from a mermaid character. This is the monster's pelvis. Uh, we have an upper leg, a lower leg from the monster, the foot from the monster, and the foot from the monster, and that should be it. The monster pieces are all going to fit perfectly when we use them. Some of the other ones, like the chest from the mermaid or merfolk and the head, it, it's possible we might have to change these or like shift them by a voxel or two or something to make them work with the new character, but I, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to sort of insert speed video of just recoloring all these pieces and then we'll get them in there and we'll start testing them and after we test them we might need to change them a bit more. If you're in the voxel editor and you can't find some of the tools that I'm using, if you go down in the bottom corner here there's an advanced button. If you click that it'll expose more tools for you. Okay, so we have painted and saved a whole bunch of pieces. I'm actually going to refresh because the stuff that you see here, you can see all my pieces, but they don't have the new coloring I did on them because those thumbnails won't get refreshed until the game is refreshed. So let's just refresh right now. Don't forget to um, save first if you've made any changes. So stop the game. Then you can use the fly camera to go back over to your little character select them, open up the appearance script, and then now let's start going through these. So I put the head on, let's find the neck, and do the arms, I've selected all my pieces, hopefully, so let's hit play and see if we missed anything, no, that looks like it's all there. So now we can kind of decide, like, we can see that the chest that I use doesn't quite line up. It has to move over by a voxel, so I can do that. Everything else is probably okay. I think I'll make those arms fatter. And I'm going to make the whole chest bigger, maybe. Just going to try making the arm one wider. I don't know if I'll like it or not, but we'll give it a shot. And the chest. 
I knew I was going to have to change this one a lot because it's from a different skeleton. Okay, so I've just changed those two pieces, but let's refresh. And now that they're selected, we shouldn't have to, to pick them again. It should look okay. And don't forget, these enemies are deliberately exaggerated with the big heads to look good from this camera perspective. So you might want to use a different kind of enemy, uh, like a different skeleton for your enemy when it's um, from a different perspective. There's, there's a scene here. I'll quickly stop and show you this. This game here called NPC Examples has some different bodies you can use as a base for your monsters if you want. You would just have to paste all the scripts that are on the monsters onto, onto one of these characters. But just so you know, this scene is available if you want to use a different NPC as the base for your monster that doesn't have the sort of large puppet head. Like if you want it to take the exact same size of pieces, but you just don't want the exaggerated giant heads, then the monster you'd want to base it on is this skeleton here. That one uh, has a normal size head, but takes the same size of art assets. Looks pretty good, but let's just... Check it out in fly cam mode so it doesn't chase us. Okay, that looks far more centered. But now I'm gonna like, I think, sort of beef it up a bit. I'll make the arms go up a little bit taller and maybe even out a little bit at the top. Here, we'll just paint it in a different color so we can see what we're doing. Oh, that is the top of the arm. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go up one more. I wanna go out a little bit. So I'm not sure which side I need to be on. Again, we can just put a couple voxels on and like test it. No, got that on the wrong side. I know this going back and forth is not super ideal. One day we'll have more tools for doing this kind of thing. But for now, it is it is doable. I normally actually have an art scene that has the character right next to the spawn. But since these have enemy scripts on them, they'll attack you if you do that. So it might be just as easy to do what I'm doing now. Okay, so I think that's all right. I'll just make it go down maybe two or three more voxels. Front to back. I don't know. This person has no back and they're, yeah, they're like quite thin. So I think we'll go down a few more. Okay, so I just moved that backwards one more, so it was like a little bit thicker. That's pretty good. That looks fairly intentional. Let's refresh it again. Pretty good, but I think I'm going to move this markings on the body up one and maybe even take one off the bottom. There, see, we have a lot less crashing now between the red piece and the waistband, which I like. I think the other thing I want to do, though, is just pull this down one. Okay, that's good. I am pretty happy with that character for this video. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to change their weapon. I just wanted to show you what you'd need to do if, if you have to actually adjust a few pieces. That's why I chose, you know, a chest from a different character and a different head, just so that you can sort of see what you need to do to make it work. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.